Welcome to the first video in the NanoLive Technology mini-series, answering the question, what is holotomography? If you have any questions during the video, please send them to us using the chat box or via email at lookinginsidelife at nanolive.ch and we will reply as soon as possible. Holotomography is a combination of holography, which is imaging objects quantitatively using the phase shift of light, and tomography, which is the process of assembling information from cross-sections to retrieve three-dimensional information. Combining these two methods enables high-resolution imaging of cells and their organelles in 3D, making this a high-content imaging technique, which is well-suited for fundamental in vitro research and drug development. Furthermore, this label-free method is non-invasive and free of both phototoxicity and harmful effects of chemical dyes. This means cells can be imaged for days without harm, enabling investigation of long-term processes like stem cell differentiation. Keep watching to discover how NanoLife imaging systems use holotomography in more detail. Holography uses variations in the phase shift of light as it passes through an object to produce quantitative images. As low power light passes through a sample, the wave is altered by the properties of the sample's internal structure. Cellular structures and organelles interact with light in different ways, meaning they can be differentiated by their refractive index values. This structural information is encoded on a detector by comparing the object beam with a reference beam of light. The phase shift between the two light beams is retrieved through computation based on the recorded hologram. In order to achieve a higher resolution than is possible using phase shift imaging alone, NanoLive systems are equipped with a patented rotating arm which rotates the object beam 360 degrees around the sample. 100 snapshots are taken from different angles to achieve a resolution of 200 nanometers in the XY. 96 2D image slices are taken in the Z-Stack, covering 30 microns in depth, allowing internal organelles like nucleoli and mitochondria to be visualized clearly. By combining all the images, a high-resolution 3D holotomographic reconstruction is produced. In this image, refractive index is indicated by brightness. Areas like the cell medium and cytoplasm are darker as the refractive index is lower. Brighter areas like the small dots, which are lipid droplets, have a higher refractive index. This allows quantification of the dry mass of cells and their organelles. Holotomographic images provide insights into 3D processes of cells and their organelles like the subcellular localization and organization of organelle systems, membrane dynamics, cell-cell interactions, identifying the mechanism of cell death, and many other phenotypic changes. These high-resolution, quantitative images are rich in data, which can be extracted by AI analysis. NanoLive provides a suite of digital analysis solutions to automate this process and to quantify cell death effect to cell killing, lipid droplet dynamics, and other unique phenotypic changes. This was the first video in our NanoLive Technology mini-series. Follow the rest of the mini-series to learn more about the technology behind NanoLive's high-content live cell images and how holotomography is essential for providing deep phenotypic insights into cellular responses. Our team will be happy to answer your questions and provide you with any additional information you need. Please get in touch via the contact form link in our description, on our website at nanolive.ch or by email at lookinginsidelife at nanolive.ch.